All right, here we are at our 1986 summer set. It's a 14 by 60 foot aluminum hull houseboat for sale with catwalks. We're here on the beautiful fresh waters of Norris Lake, Tennessee. Current slip is transferable. If someone wants to leave it right here where it's sitting right now, they'll have the option to do so. This one is powered with an 88 horsepower Evan Rude two stroke outboard motor. And most of what you'll see in our video tour today will be transferring with this one. We're here for our video walkthrough tour. And as usual, we do like to remind you current asking price, as along with the full list of specifications and equipment on board, will be most easiest to find at our website which is at www.yournewboat.com now for your convenience we will have a direct link to this listing at our website down in the video description of this one so depending on what you're uh, watching this video on uh, you want to see uh, drop down that text description where it's going to have some uh, some of the general boat information and there'll be a direct link like I said it'll take you right to the listing at our website save you some time from finding it we don't mention the asking prices in the video tours because they will often change until the listing is sold. But once you do make over to the website, you'll be able to find this one easily. Or again, use that direct link that'll take you right to it. All right, so here in our salon area, we do have a um, somewhat of an updated interior. We've got some linoleum um, sheet vinyl flooring. And the paneling on the interior of this one has been uh, painted over, added some trim work. Here at your helm stations, we do have your uh, shift and throttle controls for that two-stroke Evan Root outboard motor. We also have a Pioneer AM FM CD stereo. That's going to have some zone audio throughout the boat. Uh, basically a pair of speakers on the front porch. Two here in the living room kitchen area where we're standing now, and then two more out uh, near the stern in the uh, master stateroom. Overhead your helm station, that is an Emerson 39 inch LED HD television. And we've also got a small little electric heater. I believe that was about a 1500 watt electric heater. And then this dual reclining sofa love seat. A little bit of that trim work is, uh, has not been finished here in this main living room area. I want to call your attention to that. A lot of it is. This does have central heat and air conditioning, uh, an HVAC unit, and also has a pair of Coleman TSR roof mount units. Now this, this one here that we're looking at in the frame now, that one has heat strips, and that's the only thing working on that one. The central HVAC unit uh, appears to be about a two-ton system. And then here in your kitchen area, we have two electric refrigerator freezers. This is a, a newer Magic Chef electric refrigerator freezer. Dining table, some storage. And then over here, we've got an E-Wave electric uh, refrigerator freezer as well. Originally, there would have been a, uh, a dual gas and electric fridge right there. So that's kind of why that um, is basically mounted in what kind of appears to be a little built-in unit right there. And then we have a Magic Chef 4 burner, gas oven and range, and a roll pull microwave, double stainless sink. And again, what you see in this one will be will be remaining. We do have a single level interior layout which is a nice feature and then this is also we call this the hall bunk layout. We're gonna have a series of pocket doors throughout. So your first one's right there where you can close off basically the bedrooms from the rest of the boat. Let me give you one more look up towards the bow before we head back that that way. Do you have those beams that you found uh, find in these uh, 80 model Stardust and Somerset houseboats. You've got that up here. A lot of people would put their 
life jackets and things of that nature up there on that ceiling. Really gives you an open look. We've, we basically have a two, um, two level roof up top. So from the inside, that's where you're gonna see that step down is whenever you transition back here to your, to your bedrooms. All right, so here's that hall bunk area that uh, we were just speaking of. These are two full-size bunk beds. Small hanging closet right here, right as you enter into your, your hallway here. Let me step back again, get you another look at these two full-size bunk beds. A little bit of storage available underneath this lower bunk. And we do have basically 12 volt power and just regular AC power throughout the boat. Now we've got a little bit of a sag in these, uh, this ceiling panel here. Not sure if that will translate in the photographs or the video tour, but we always like to try to represent these as accurately as possible. So I do want to point that out to you. Uh, generally, this is this uh, center strip right here is a little plastic strip that will remove, and then these can get restapled into those uh, your your beams, your uh, tube of sixes that run across there. And that's that would be my guess is what happened there. Is those staples have just kind of pulled out. All right, so here's where we got some more pocket doors, and essentially the hall bunk layout. If you're not familiar with it, you're gonna have a master stateroom toward the stern of the boat, and then of course the hall bunk beds where we're at now. A series of these pocket doors here that will provide shared access to the bathroom. So kind of give you an idea. Those doors will all close, so basically at night, depending on who's on board with you. You might have all these doors closed and then basically each each uh, stateroom would be able to access the shared bathroom. This is a full bath. We've got a stand-up shower, corner vanity sink, and this is a incinerate toilet, basically an incinerator head. So essentially this does not have a need for a waste holding tank that, uh, that basically has liners that go in there and incinerate your your waste and basically turns it into a odorless ash that can then just be disposed of in your uh, in your waste basket so your incinerate works you're on Norris Lake uh, the collection of your sewage is required so if you've got a, a traditional marine head that's going to go into a waste holding tank and then here on Norris we've, we have a pump out company that will come to the boat and pump out your waste tanks. This is a queen size bed here in your master stateroom. You can see those speakers overhead that we uh, touched on earlier when we were up in the living room. And then here's your second air conditioning unit. Again that's a Coleman TSR roof mount, uh, basically RV style AC unit with heat strips. So this one um, here in the uh, back part of the boat, that one does have a functional air conditioning and heat strips. But again, we also have um, an added central heat and air system. Make sure we walk right past the controls of that here in our hallway. And again, ballpark that appears to be about a, a two ton system. Let me try to show you all the angles here in your master stateroom. Turn around and show you we got two hanging closets over here with a little built-in uh, dresser and a vanity. And that's going to start to wrap things up here for the interior. I'll give you one more look up to the bottom of the boat and then we're going to exit out this rear rear glass door. Show you our rear porch and then we'll go upstairs and take a look at the roof. Stepping through that sliding patio door, we've got a propane char griller, grills and smokes with the side burner. And here's that uh, central heat and air HVAC unit. That's your heat pump here on the exterior. And then this one is powered by a two-stroke Evinrude outboard motor. An 88 horsepower. This is the 88 special that was commonly used.
And we've got this hatch here just to hide that, hide that from the users here on the on the rear deck. Swim boarding ladder off in the uh, port side corner. And then we've got storage hatches. I'll, I'll raise this hatch right here. We've got two approximately 50 gallon fuel tanks just below deck here and basically most of this being utilized for storage right now. There is a onboard Kohler generator that uh, does not operate and that's in that center hatch there. So that's why we're not really going to bother with going in a lot of detail in the engine room. You do have uh, your onboard uh, batteries, 12 volt power and onboard battery charger down there as well in the starboard side locker. We'll go ahead and take this ladder up to our rooftop. Again, here's that uh, two level roof area that we have. Originally there would have been a slide coming over here on the starboard side corner and that's just been removed due to the uh, owner's preference. Opens up a little bit of your headroom down there, gives you one less obstacle to have to worry about down below and then uh, this so this PVC uh, fitting that's coming up here, that is your vent for your incinerator head, that, that incinolet unit. So that's what why that is here. Now I do need to mention we've got a little bit of a soft spot right in this area right here. And then this roof appears to have had some cool seal on it originally. And so it has been patching up areas as they have as they have uh, come available he's just been patching that up as needed and other than that one area right there below this upper roof it does appear to be a, a fairly solid roof again I uh, do offer our listing subject to buyer inspection marine surveyor is recommended for these houseboat purchases and one thing that they will do as part of their marine survey will be inspecting the roof and the side walls looking for areas of moisture intrusion structural concerns and things of that nature do have just a uh, digital upgraded um, airwave antenna it goes go, feeds to that 39 inch LED HD television down below And now available as an additional purchase with this one is this 18 foot bass buggy shown right here in our video frame now this will be available for an additional purchase does not have to go with the boat if the buyer of the houseboat already has another boat but this you'll have the option to purchase this and the buyer of the houseboat does not want the pontoon then we will list it separately there's our uh, four-step swim boarding ladder here off the back of the houseboat before we finish up there. Now we can move on to our Sun Tracker bass buggy. Again, this 18-foot. This is a 2002 model. This does have an all-aluminum deck flooring here. So there's no wood in here to rot. This will last quite a long time in fresh water. We have a bimini top overhead. And this one's powered by Mercury two-stroke outboard motor. Estimated about 90 horsepower. Got 23-gallon fuel tank. Dual batteries, dual uh, newer uh, interstate batteries. Handheld remote spotlight. We got the four fishing seats. You've got some rod holders over here. This one's rated for seven. Underneath your driver's seat, you've got a integrated live well. And a pair of fish finders on here. This is a low rents X4 Pro fish finder. You got a tachometer, 12 volt power outlet here at your helm. Two more fishing seats, some rod holders all around up here on the bow of the boat, and then another uh, fish finder here. This is a hummingbird fish finder 565 depth and fish finder, along with the Minn Kota 55 pounds, 55 pound thrust trolling motor. And I'm going to show you a look below the deck here, show you that 
aluminum decking that we talked about. Got some uh, docking lights or fishing lights also mounted up here on the on the bow of the boat. A couple underneath the deck here. A little bit of impact damage right here. They're not really damaged on these. These especially your aluminum deck boats can take a beating, but uh, there's a little bit of an impact there. Mostly cosmetic on these aluminum boats. This igloo cooler is going to be um, going with the pontoon as well. And swim boarding ladder over here on your port side. That's a three-step swim boarding ladder mounted to the floor there. And it's one of those docking lights up here. There's also a single axle trailer included with this one. We'll likely have a photo of that trailer at our website. And again, that's where you're going to find the most up-to-date information. All of our listings for sale, but more details on this houseboat and pontoon package that will be available. Again, we're going to have a direct link for this listing right there at the uh, in the description of the video. So if you if you do want more information on it, look for the link in that written description. When you do make it over to the website, you can copy and paste that link if needed. Take you right to the listing page of this one. You're going to see a, a photo slideshow tour. It's going to kind of show you all the rooms of this one. There'll be a printable PDF to the left side of that page for more uh, more details and, and more uh, information. A little bit of moisture intrusion in this area of the wall. And, and not, it's not major, but it is moving a little bit. This would have been where your... Um, uh, actually, would have been a gas hot water heater mounted there. There is now a 19-gallon um, electric... Electric um, water heater and then do have a little bit of Some damage in this exterior wall here. That's moisture damage right there uh, Just below where this um, hot water heater vent would have been but now you've got basically a standard 19 gallon Again electric water heater below the deck and then this is where that original uh, refrigerator would have been the uh, gas Electric version, but again, that's re been replaced. It's all electric now This is an aluminum hull with this outboard motor. You do not have the drive maintenance that you that you typically have to deal with on other inboard outboard powered aluminum hulls. So this is fairly low maintenance from that perspective, mechanical perspective. And this is going to start to wrap things up here. You do have a walk around on both sides. Again, this is a 1986. Stardust, 14 by 60 foot, aluminum hull houseboat for sale. Just occurred to me that I may have called this a Somerset earlier. Stardust and Somerset were very similar. But this is a Stardust Cruiser, again, 14 by 60. And again, you can find the uh, more detailed information on this one on our website. Our contact information is going to be there. Once you do make it over there, you can contact us by phone, by text, or by email, whatever is more convenient for you. We do like to remind you, if you call us on the phone, you get our voicemail, and like a return phone call, make sure you leave us a detailed message. Let me know which listing you're looking at, what questions you have. I'm often in areas without cell phone reception, so if you don't take the time to leave a message, I will not know that you called. Additionally, if you send us an email through our website, and it's been one business day, and you have not gotten a reply, please check your spam folder. We have a high rate of our um, reply emails end up in customer spam folders. We do have a fishing light up here off the uh, port side corner of the bow and basically this little, uh, your wood around the exterior, this has just been added as a as a, a beefier rub rail than the plastic inserts that would have been on here originally. So you've basically got that going along and additionally, it's gonna close the gap on this rail right here. So if you've got younger kids or even uh, small pets, that's going to help with that area as well. This was a liveaboard at one time, so we've got a, you can see a water filter right here where they would pull their uh, winter uh, water out of the lake, treat it, and I believe we've got a, a pair of approximately um, 80 gallon aluminum freshwater tanks, and again a pair of uh, 50 to 60 gallon aluminum fuel tanks. And again, uh, not the need for the Waste holding tank on this one because of the uh, incinerator toilet. So that's going to start to do it for this one. Again, you'll see the yournewboat.com logo popping up in the top right hand corner of the screen. That's just a shortcut to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So if you're uh, not a subscriber already, we do invite you to do that. We're happy to have you. 
And again, uh, if you have any questions on this listing, set up a time to see it in person, anything like that, reach out to us through the website. That's at yournewboat.com. Or again, use the link provided in, in the video description of this, um, of this video tour. Thank you again for joining us.